Hey guys, Nate here. Just decided to flip the camera back on again, and uh, I don't know. It's just a nice, it's a nice drive. So it's, it's very, uh, very, very peaceful driving when there's snow coming down, and uh, we're gonna keep the camera going. It's another lesson I could pack into this. There is. I mean, I talked about, you know, taking advantage of time, and it's like, wow, I got, I got some time to kill with this slow, slippery drive all the way to Foxborough, Massachusetts. Um, yeah, it's only a couple towns over, but <clears throat> it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a little while from there. And I'm still questioning my decision to leave the house. I probably should go back and shovel and snow blow and all that. But, you know, it's just going to keep falling down and I'm going to have to tackle it again later in the day. So, man, just wait till it all falls and then, then shovel it up at the end of the day. So, uh, by the way, it is still January... Oh, I just forgot the day. Is it the 24th? It is the 24th. Start date, January 24th, 2015. Captain's Law. Um, for this audio lesson, let's pack in a little audio lesson here. Let's talk about Unity Gain. Now, kids, show of hands, who knows what Unity Gain is? Have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen a little U on a mixer? Maybe a Mackie, Allen Heath, whatever, whatever type of mixer you've got. There will usually be a U. And under that, you'll see like a minus one, a minus two, minus three, minus six, minus twelve, all the way down to probably minus eighty or something of that, something, something like that. So what what is this? So so this U on a mixer, on an audio mixing console, that U stands for Unity, specifically Unity Gain. Now, when you think of Unity Gain, what comes to mind? Well. Maybe nothing. Maybe you have no idea. So I'm just going to assume that you don't know anything. So Unity Gain you can think of as a happy place for audio. Oh, that telephone pole is getting closer. Woohoo! Oh, this is really slow. Oh, this is probably too dangerous. So Unity Gain is a happy place for audio. And um, let me back up and say that audio, analog audio, is electricity, right? Now that's important to, to understand. So when you talk about electricity, you've got all these different characteristics and properties and different different forces or you know, I guess characteristics is the best way to describe it uh, of electricity and different different components that can uh, do different things to an electrical signal. So right, you've got capacitors, You've got resistors, you've got inductors, um, oh, you've got all kinds of these electrical components that are doing various things to an electrical signal. You've got potentiometers, and you've got these different terms like impedance, you know, high impedance, low impedance, high Z, low Z, you may have seen that before. Um, got resistance. Um, and it's important to remember that audio is electricity. That might not be uh, intuitive to some people. It might be very intuitive to other people. You've got alternating current, which is you know what you plug into a typical uh, 120 volt wall outlet, and you've got DC current, right? So alternating current and direct current. Um, you've got phantom power, right? That's anywhere between. Uh, 24 volts and 48 volts DC, that's what phantom power is. But back to Unity Gain. Unity Gain is that happy place for the audio. That's that's that is the point at which the <clears throat> electrical signal, the audio signal, uh, is is neither being subtracted or attenuated. I could use a fancy word like attenuated. That just means to subtract, right? To attenuate, to turn down. Um, Unity gain is the point at which audio is attenuated. Uh, unity gain is, is neither attenuated or amplified. Right? That's that's unity is where the circuit was designed to pass audio. 
And, and why do we care about that? Like, why, why does it matter? Well, when we, when we talk about unity gain, we talk about mixing, we talk about setting levels, how do you know where to set a level? Right? You, what you want to do, you want to strive for unity gain because you, you don't want to introduce what we call coloration to the sound. Right? Hey, you want, you want levels to be good. You want to you make sure you've got good, solid levels. But you don't want to introduce coloration. And what coloration is, uh, so when you turn down, when you turn up, you're introducing these electrical components, uh, electrical components to the signal, right? Um, and that's going to affect the sound. Now, you know, a lot of people may not have an ear that's trained to, to hear these types of subtle things, but um, you, you, you may get to a point where you do hear it and it sounds awful if you have no clue what you're doing. So when you're setting levels, you want to make sure, if you're in an analog system, that your level is, is right around unity gain. And this is like on average. So if you've got a singer who's belting away into a microphone, um, you want the average peak on that VU meter. You know, you see the little, you, see, you may, may see an LED meter go up and down, or you might have old school, like, actual VU meter. Or you might have a peak program meter. It's usually LED indicated, or uh, a old school VU meter that's measuring the levels. And you, you want that right around zero dB, or unity gain, on average, to make sure you've got good level, right? You don't want it to be too soft. You don't want it to be too loud, because if you get too loud, then you'll be clipping. Uh, in a digital system, we we want to go, and so this is where it gets a little tricky. Uh, in the digital system, we don't have the luxury or the characteristics or the properties of an analog circuit, right? We've got a digital circuit. Digital circuits are made up a little bit different, right? Um, oh, there's so much to talk about. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But you've got a digital, a digital circuit important thing to remember is that happy place is negative 14. D and I'm talking about dB here. So that is that is like the average on the digital signal where you kind of where you kind of want the levels to, to stay in that realm. Now, you, you know some people might argue that well I like I like negative 16 or you know I like negative 12 or, you know everybody's got slight preferences but if you're in that ballpark on a digital mixer that's that's a good that's a good solid happy place where you can set your gain stages from there and uh, you know, it'll be all it'll be all right. Um, so anyway, we've covered uh, a little introduction to what unity gain is. We've talked about uh, gain staging. We've talked about uh, setting levels a little bit. Uh, we've talked about unity gain. We've talked about um, uh, I'm sorry, unity gain in an analog system which is at zero dB. We've talked about that same happy place in a digital system, which is about negative 14, anywhere between negative 16 and negative 12, really, uh, in, a, in a digital system. And, um, you know, that is a good place to end this little nugget. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog.